Hey y'all, uh, Farmer Dre back at it. These guys are cut salmon in the shop. And as you guys see, Microsoft some wood. And today I'm gonna show you guys exactly step by step how we make our pallet tables for inside the greenhouse. You know, a lot of people have been asking me, you know, exactly how do you build them? I told them it's simple out of a pallet, but I, I, was, um, I was thinking about it, I was like, might as well just make a video about it. It's pretty simple. We gotta make quite a bit more because we got another shipment of uh, plants and flowers in. So we gotta build about five or six more for inside the greenhouse. But I decided just to show you guys just how to make one. We gotta continue making them throughout the, you know, for to put all, we just started laying the plants on the ground as you guys saw in the previous video. We don't have enough room, so we need more table space. So we have the pallets because whenever we order a lot of, we get a lot of shipments in by the, by the 18 wheeler. And whenever we buy, we just get the, the pallets just come with, um, with the shipment. And then we got some extra scrap wood. So put everything to use here on the farm. We don't throw anything away, you know. And we just like to keep everything stored nicely. So whenever we do need them, we don't spend the money, the extra money, to go buy brand new material because we already have. We know in the greenhouse, you don't need brand new stuff. So just make it work, get the job done. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue them. The tables are gonna be two and a half feet above the ground. And uh, we gotta cut the legs out and the supports, put, uh, drill them into with the, with the wooden screws inside, inside of the pallet here. So we're gonna get it done and hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so the first step is we gotta cut the legs. They're 30 inches. This is pretty simple. You know, I can do simple math like that. You know, 12 feet, 12 inches in the feet. Simple, simple math, but then I suck at algebra, you know, so I don't blame myself, do I? So 30 inches here, got to mark that nicely. Go ahead and get our miter saw here, wrap and run it. It's plugged in, I believe. I guess we're just going to we're just gonna have to live and see. I'm using our step there from, you know, they don't have to be perfect. It's greenhouse production use only, so here we go, 30 inches. Perfectly nice slab of the legs are gonna be on. Now short and sweet, we got all the legs cut now. We're gonna use this pallet here. It's not the best legs, so I'm gonna use our flatbed. We're actually my brother Adrian, he's actually uh, working on a flatbed for one of our trucks. Make sure you flip it upside down, you know, make sure you do that. Get the wood here, the legs we just cut. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put them flush against the ground and drill holes in them, like, or drill the screws in them rather. So go ahead and do these two sides and uh, get it done. What I'm gonna go ahead and do here is uh, we got this old uh, D wall drill. We've had this drill for, it's not a sponsored brand deal or anything. We've had this drill since 2010. That means this drill impact here. Is nine years old and she's running smooth as can be. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is get it running the right way. Perfect. There's I'm gonna put three screws in here. Just like that, simple as can be. And pull it on top here so it won't move back and forth. There you go. Here, do that real quick, just like that, quick. And what we have to do is, since uh, if, you put, if you stand on four feet, it's gonna be a little wobbly. So we're gonna go ahead and put a piece of metal, uh, metal piece of wood across here. Pre-cut this one, and uh, go ahead and measure that up. Since I got six inches, I kind of have an idea where I'm gonna put it. Go ahead and screw that. Perfect. Go ahead and brace that up. Nice and strong. They don't have to be perfectly level or made or anything because there's one degree. I'm not a perfect. 
perfect person anyways. I could be a little, a little OCD when it comes to stacking stuff, but that's about it. For me, all I care is to get the job done. Alrighty, so there we go. Table is good. It's a 4 by 48 by 40 inches. It's a regular pallet size. We got the bracelet strong and sturdy. It ain't moving nowhere. Now it's time to go in the greenhouse with it. So let's get going. Probably in here. We already put some flowers on it, but we're gonna go ahead and line it up. Uh, got another shipment of flowers and tomato plants in. I'm gonna go ahead and just start. Here, hold on. Get these in here better. We got a ton of flowers and stuff, tomato plants, and all kinds of goodies. And right now we're just laying them on the ground because we don't we didn't have the space. We got all kinds of tomato plants, even though we grow our own. We still bring a lot in. We're gonna actually move that back there and uh, put the tomato plants on it. So that's it for the table. As you guys can see, it's a nice looking table. And we built them all like that for the greenhouse here. They're all just plywood. weed. This is extra scrap wood that we had around the farm. And once they're built and in here, we're always gonna use them. So the greenhouse is full, full, full of stuff. We got some more over there. The begonia, there's tomato plants on the ground. These snapdragons, some more begonias sparkling cauliflower looking fine so alrighty guys that's pretty much it for today just a little quick uh, how how to video or do yourself video on uh, how to make a table for gardening or uh, outside for a greenhouse and um, that's how we we got to build another one two three four five six seven eight more tables in here so we got a lot more work to do it did get dark on us so we like to do this stuff when it does get dark so we don't have to take time out of our good day working outside in the field but if you guys go like this video go ahead and hit a thumbs up on this video go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you guys have any questions comments any you know um more thoughts on how to build a stronger table go ahead and comment down below and thanks for watching that's how we do it here on the farm a little quick little um how we build our tables here they're not super fancy it's just made out of scrap wood we have here on the farm because the good stuff we use on big projects and we don't like i said before we don't throw anything away so thanks for watching that's pretty much it for today and we'll see you next time